a man, it's pretty easy to walk out of the door and spot a hot looking woman and instantly be intrigued and want to know more. Men are programmed to want to hunt and quite enjoy the chasing of the prey, in this situation the lady. It's an instinct that doesn't need much education or prompting, it's basically in the male DNA. However, that isn't the case when it comes to women. Sure, they admire the attractiveness as much as the next person, but it takes more than just a hot guy walking past to spike their interest, and a lot more than that to keep them interested. Sometimes, I think some women don't like to admit it, but we do like to be kept on our toes. It creates an intriguing and adrenaline-induced situation, kind of like watching a movie and waiting for that next big reveal. I know that you cannot control who you attract, and maybe you are a little insecure about how you look. We all are, don't worry. Insecurities are not nice and can sometimes eat you up from the inside out. There will always be that girl that you think is completely out of your league, but is she? Honestly, she might be or she might just not have noticed you yet. You will never truly know until you try. Hoping to level out the playing field, we've taken a look into what women look for in a man and devised this list of things that you can do to tempt and attract that hot girl that is always on your mind. Here we go, like and subscribe. First on our list, smell. Without using your words, you can capture a woman's attention just by simply walking by. No eye contact or anything. But the second she breathes in and inhales your aftershave, her head could snap with how fast she turns to see who's just walked past her. Now I know there are a lot of different scents out there and everyone will have their own opinion about what is the best one to buy. There may be some that you don't like the smell of and that's completely understandable. Do not buy a cologne just because it's the best seller in the store. Trust me, you will regret it. The most important thing when it comes to smell is hygiene, shower and deodorant. However, we've also had a look online and here's a little list of the five top aftershaves that women drool over. We have Dior Sauvage, next up we have Creed, next one which is personally I think my favourite, Paco Rabanne Invictus, then we have Zara's own branded aftershave and then lastly on our list, Giorgio Armani Black Code. All of these options are classed as drugstores, which means they're all affordable. So get sniffing and see which one you prefer and I can guarantee that one whiff and the girls will be literally falling at your feet. Confidence. It's the best thing a person can wear as it radiates from them and everybody around them can feel it. If you don't feel confident, then try the fake it until you make it scenario. The more that you pretend you are confident, the more that you will become confident in yourself. How do you expect a girl to notice you and want to talk to you if you don't think that you are worth talking to, right? Although this is also a double-ended sword, too much confidence can come across as cockiness and that is a huge turn off for the ladies. So do be careful with this one, proceed with caution. Body language. It's been talked about for many years because it's so complex and yet so easy to understand a lot about a person. Body language is increasingly important across all subjects, but can be used to establish what someone is thinking in the dating game. A way for you to utilize this is by projecting what you want a woman to think and feel about you through the way that you move your body. For example, standing tall can give the impression that you are confident and proud. The same way a lion roars or a gorilla beats its chest when a man puffs his chest out with his shoulders back, this stance oozes confidence and more than often will have a woman swooning. Your posture and the gestures you display when in a conversation can say a lot about you that words can not. Stand out. Standing out in a crowd can be difficult for some and that is because they are trying too much at one time or they're not doing it correctly. Nobody wants to be noticed because everyone is pointing and laughing at them or because they are that loud they've given the whole room a headache. So I've got some examples that can help you. Fashion. Wear something that you feel comfortable wearing but something that stands out. Could be the colour of your trousers or an oversized hoodie. A staple pair of shoes with a monochrome outfit. Using your fashion sense to stand out allows you to be within the crowd and be the where's Wally without even trying. Effort. 
This might sound shocking to most men, but simply putting in a little effort can put you in a league of your own before all the characteristics are even thought about. Ask her out on a date and have a plan in place. We don't like the, eh, we can go for food if you want, where do you want to go type of guy. We love the, we're going for dinner on Friday at 8pm at this restaurant, be ready type of guy. Uniqueness. Everyone has that one thing about them that other people can't do or just don't do. So find out what your unique talent is and use it to impress the ladies. Make her laugh. If you can make a woman laugh, then you've already done 65% of the battle. In almost all research articles about dating and what women look for in a partner, a sense of humour is ranked within the top three. A great sense of humour not only leaves a lasting first impression, but is also a great personality trait to have that you can enable to build an amazing relationship. I would be careful though, if you can only make someone laugh by putting someone else down, then I hate to break it to you, but you're not funny, you're just mean. Touch. You would be surprised how one small touch from a man can easily seduce a woman and increase your chances of looking attractive to her. Something as little as putting your hand on her lower back as you usher her through a crowd of people is more than enough to make her tingle. I can sense all the women nodding now. Mm -hmm. Subtle and little touches here and there can drive a woman crazy, especially if you are in public and she has to maintain herself. Knowing exactly where to touch and when can be a real turn on. Find common ground. If you can find something that you both have in common, this would be a great conversation topic, but also a path that you can go down and explore as the relationship continues to blossom. Do you both like the outdoors? Well, your first date could be a morning hike to see the sunrise, romantic and something you both enjoy doing. Do you both love going out to eat? Make a date that every Friday night you try three new appetizers from the menu of a new place. Finding a common interest will also help keep that conversation flowing and helps to avoid that awkward silence. This is particularly important during the first stage of any relationship as it will help you feel more comfortable with each other and build a more stable connection. Listen to her. This is the easiest point that is used when attracting a woman and yet with some men, the most difficult thing to understand. Listening to what a woman has to say can be massively beneficial when it comes to gaining points in her eyes and also for finding conversation topics to talk about. Nodding your head along to what she is saying without paying attention can be a dangerous game to play. Imagine smiling and nodding while she is telling you about her dead dog. Mm, game over, my friend. Women often feel that men don't listen to them and zone out when they are talking. So if you listen to her and register what she is saying, then you are above the average man already. All of these simple yet effective tips and tricks could be the difference between you going home alone at the end of the night or bagging a babe and going on the first date. And I know which one I would rather do. With your notepad and pen in hand, you can capture a woman's attention and have her swooning at your feet within seconds. And as you know, not all women are the same. And there may be things that one woman would love a man to do, but that another may not even bat an eyelid at. But these simple hacks are a baseline that could save you a lot of time and stress when it comes to entering the dating world and finding your feet. So the next time you are out and about and you spot a good looking girl, try out one of these and see if it makes a difference. Remember to fake the confidence if you're not feeling it and I promise you, you will start to feel it.